An angel took my guest to the body parts room in heaven and taught him how to call new body parts, such as kidneys and kneecaps, to earth. Can ancient secrets of the supernatural be rediscovered? Do angels exist? Is there life after death? Are healing miracles real? Can you get supernatural help from another dimension? Has the future been written in advance? Sid Roth has spent 30 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid on this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest is Tony Kemp. And Tony, when you were a brand new believer, you had a vision and you thought you were going to set the world on fire. Tell me about that vision. In that vision, I saw that the Lord Jesus was using me in the healing of the sick. I had been preaching the word. I stepped off the platform and everyone I touched was physically healed by Jesus instantly. And then he goes 26 years, he sees maybe 10 minor miracles, a headache, something like that, very frustrated, and he starts watching It's Supernatural. He watches five to eight hours a day, just like someone goes to work. He was watching the archives from the computer of It's Supernatural, and miracles started happening. Then you had an experience in which you went to heaven and saw what I have heard reported by other people, mm -hmm. the body parts room. Yes. An angel came to me and he had sandy brown hair. He took me up into the heavens. I was taken to the body parts room and there on the table and hanging were literally were hearts, kidneys, bones, livers, different body parts, fingers, eyes, ears, all kinds of body parts. And there were two angels assigned to me. One was an angel that would give me revelation concerning uh, healing, miracles, and other matters. And the other was an angel that would minister with me in the area of miracles. And the angel that was assigned to me for miracles told me that God was going to have me bring his healing power to the nations. Now, after that visitation, you have seen, yes. I mean, can you imagine going 26 years and seeing nothing and then all of a sudden an avalanche? Tell me about some new body parts. How about kidneys? Uh, I ministered to a woman in New York. Uh, she needed two new kidneys and uh, the power of God touched her. She began to shake. She was a Catholic person. And I said, God will heal anybody if you will receive Jesus the Messiah. She did. And she literally was healed, received two new kidneys. On this subject, not just very long ago, I was in the state of Mississippi. A, a young man brought, either it was his mother or his sister, I can't remember to be honest, but she was on dialysis. Mm -hmm. And God gave her two brand new kidneys. I got the report that she doesn't have to do dialysis anymore. Boy, that is wonderful. What, what about the people with new knees? Uh, a man came to a meeting. Uh, he was crippled. He was completely bent over as if you were uh, uh, picking something up off the floor. His, uh, he needed two new knees. He had actually died four times. He had had a stroke. He could barely move. He came forward and uh, I asked him to sit down and to watch God do miracles because uh, what you see gets in you. And when you see the miraculous, you begin to believe. Jesus said, uh, you will not believe unless you see signs and wonders. And he needed two new kneecaps. He actually had a scar on one knee. And when he was prayed for, the pain in his, in his knee area disappeared. The old kneecaps disappeared. New kneecaps were put in his knee. The scar actually disappeared. His pain was gone. Then God healed his hips. God healed his spine. He actually gets up and starts walking. And of course, the congregation just began to rejoice in the Lord because of this tremendous miracle. How do you pray that the body parts in heaven come on earth. How, how does that occur? Well, in, in my case, I think that God just gives me this supernatural faith to believe it. I never had it before, but I can just believe God to do the supernatural because God told me it was going to happen. And so whatever God says, he just does. So I basically command the body part to come out of heaven into the person's body in the name of the Messiah, Jesus, and it occurs. Well, could you pray for people right now 
that whatever God tells you right yes. this moment. And yes. I'm going to tell you why I'm asking him to pray right now. Because just as he started sharing about the new knee, there was a wave of God's spirit. And I believe it was his miraculous healing spirit that just invaded the studio. Father, right now in the name of the Messiah Jesus, I thank you right now, Father, that you're healing somebody of scoliosis. I thank you, Father, right now that somebody with a spinal condition is being healed in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, that right now somebody with damaged disc is being healed. And Father, someone right now who is bent over and cannot stand up straight. I thank you, Father, that your fire, your healing power is going into their spine right now and they're being healed. I thank you, Father, that somebody right now who has a, uh, 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 there's a part of the bone that's missing in the spine that you're creating it right now in the name of Jesus. And right now there are bone healings. There are people receiving healings in your bones right now. There's a hip being healed. There's a knee being healed right now. There's an ankle being healed in the name of Jesus right now. I don't know about you, but I felt an explosion of the Holy Spirit. But Tony has lately been praying for people that had metal and the metal is turning into bones on someone's back and someone's hip has just been healed in Yeshua's name. Don't go away, we'll be right back after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! For He Himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in Himself. To create in Himself. His purpose was to create one new man. One new man. One new man. Adin novy chalek. The Adam Hadash Echad. One new man. Sid Roth has found the key to worldwide revival. This is God's time to reach the Jewish people with his love. Messiah Jesus has torn down the wall dividing Jew and Gentile. The two together form one new man to reach the world. God's method to reach the Jewish people is through signs and wonders. This is why our website, SidRoth.org, is jam-packed with tools to equip you to move in signs and wonders, understand Israel, and the Jewish roots of the church. Log on to SidRoth.org today. We now return to It's Supernatural! Hello, Sid Roth here with Tony Kemp. And Tony Kemp has had many heavenly visitations in which he has been instructed on really how we can manifest God's healing here on Earth. And you, you know, Tony, as you shared on a previous show, mm -hmm. worship is such a key. When someone acts in love, it just, the, the atmosphere just, and I've been observing you, and you act in love. You really do. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it, it's like you breathe. You, it, it's as natural for you as someone breathing. The Apostle Paul said in, in the book of Galatians, he says, the Messiah lives in you in chapter 2, verse 20. And also in the book of Colossians 1.27, he said that the Messiah is in you. And that's the hope of glory. And the glory is the presence of God. It's the love of God that releases his presence and literally brings heaven to earth. So the beauty of heaven, the glory of heaven, the miracles of heaven literally come into the earth as we love God and as we love people. Okay, but the, let me tell you something. You know what God does? He can't resist this love. He is currently turning metal in a human's body into bone. Tell me about this uh, person here, this man that had 13 inches of metal in his leg. I, I was in a service in New York. He had 13 inches of metal in his leg. He could move, but he could not move without pain. For example, if he stood on his leg, he would feel pain. And when he came forward, uh, Jesus touched him took his pain away. He was able to stand on the leg without pain and he rejoiced. At first he couldn't believe it, but then he rejoiced because God did this tremendous miracle for him. Don't and you wish, don't you wish you were there? Don't you wish you were at that the service? Well, you don't have to wish. 
God knew that. Let's take a look at it right now. Move to where, where you have pain. Show me where you have pain. Right there. Okay. And now I command you metal dissolve now. Be replaced with bone now. Be bone be created. Come from the third heaven. You can do it now. You've got bone there. The metal's gone. You can do anything you want. You won't find the pain. You need to try harder. <laughs> you can try as hard as you want. I expect it to be there, so it's... I know, but you've got a miracle. <laughs> You said, I've been going to physical therapy for weeks. <laughs> they did the best they could. You just needed heavenly therapy. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, Tony, tell me someone else that had metal. Tell me about that woman. Uh, before this miracle happened, there was a woman. She was French. Uh, this meeting was uh, about 30 miles south of Canada in New York, upstate New York. She had 18 inches of metal in her spine. She could barely move. And it must have been very painful. It was extremely painful. And so she, when I prayed for her in the name of the Messiah Jesus, God just changed the metal to bone instantly. All of a sudden, she was literally able to twist, turn, bend over instantly because of the power of Jesus. Tell me about that woman whose arm was four inches shorter than yes. the other. Yes, this was in Arkansas. Uh, this woman had an arm that was four inches shorter. This was not a back condition. Uh, she also had metal from here to here. She could not even pick up a pot. And the supernatural gift of faith came upon me. I, uh, Jesus told me to command the arm to grow. And we literally watched it within five seconds grow out four inches. Here's what's amazing. She was an African-American lady. She had the metal here. And this arm was a different color than this arm. Instantly, the metal disappears. This color arm becomes the same. She goes home, she can pick up anything. I've talked with the pastor, I've talked with the wife. She's still healed, she still has the miracle. What about something uh, life-threatening, like cancer? Have you seen many healings there, Tony? I've seen many healings there. Uh, one case that I can share with you, um, I had a vision of a woman um, who had cancer. And God told me, with, with me, nothing's impossible. And then, um, and sometime later, um, the woman has cancer. She doesn't tell me about it. I walk up to her, and God tells me to tell her, go back to the doctor, have them check you again. They will not find the cancer. She goes back to the doctor, and the cancer that had been in her lungs they couldn't find it, and she is still healed to this day. Tell me another person. Um, oh, my goodness. There are so many cancer healings. Uh, there was a woman who came to a meeting in the state of Louisiana. Again, she didn't tell me about her condition. She actually left the meeting earlier, and God said to me, go out the door and get her. <laughs> and so I literally left the meeting. I, you know, I let folk know, I'll be back. I walked outside. I prayed for her. God touched her. She goes back to the doctor. Again, she didn't tell me she had cancer, but I talked with her about cancer. I said, God's going to heal you. She goes back to the doctor. They check her for cancer. They could find no cancer. She goes to her home church and gives her testimony how she's cancer-free. Tony, for a guy that saw in 26 years 10, maybe 10, minor miracles, what's it like to see what you read in the Bible take place in your life? I'm, I'm filled with joy. Because I know it brings pleasure to the heart of the Father to touch people. And when, when a blind person sees, a deaf person hears, a person who was, for example, an alcoholic and now they don't drink anymore, they were on drugs, they don't use drugs anymore, uh, maybe they smoke cigarettes and they wanted to quit and all of a sudden God touches them and they don't have a desire and they don't smoke anymore. This person's happy and when a person's happy because they're free, God's happy. And that's what gives me joy. It brings joy to the Lord and to see the look on people's faces when they receive miracles. But Tony, priceless. you say, you say, anything you can do, you can do also. That's the truth. You say that. That's the truth. Because see, God, uh, we're just people. 
with flaws, with weaknesses, with defects of character. But Jesus loves us and Jesus lives in us as we yield to him. And what God is doing through me, he can do through anybody. All we have to do is believe, worship, and obey Jesus when he talks to us. How would you like to see someone blind get their sight back? Be right back after this word. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Pastor Tony Kent was frustrated when he didn't see miracles in his ministry like the ones he'd read about in the Bible. Then he was caught up into the third heaven and was given keys from God to unlock the supernatural. Today, Tony is seeing the crippled walk, blind see, the deaf hear, people healed from all types of diseases. Many receive missing body parts and experience supernatural weight loss. Now, Tony wants to give these keys from heaven to you. Call now and receive Tony Kemp's three-part audio CD teaching series, Healing as Taught from Heaven. Yours for a donation of $26. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1298. Through this easy to read, biblically based audio CD series, you'll learn the healing power of love, peace, and forgiveness. How to pray effective prayers that bring results. Pray for instant weight loss. Command arms and legs to grow. See creative miracles with people receiving new body parts from heaven. Close the doors to sickness and disease in your life, and so much more. People who have listened to this CD series have received their own healing and impartation to operate in the same anointing as Tony Kemp. Don't miss out on getting Tony Kemp's three-part audio CD teaching series, Healing as Taught from Heaven. Yours for a donation of $26. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1298. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 1298 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural! Hello, Sid Roth here with Tony Kemp. Have you ever seen someone blind get their vision back? Let's take a look. Do you believe when I pray for you right now, you'll see right now? Because Jesus is your healer? Recreate. Recreate. Don't let her fall out. Recreate. Blind eye, I command you, see in Jesus' name. Cover up your right eye, darling. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Keep it covered real good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. you ready to see? Yes. You ready to see? Yeah. I can see. I can see. I can see. I can see. <laughs> Did you see that? As a, but I noticed one other thing. That that was that that occurred a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Since that time. You look thinner in person than you, than you did there. How much have you lost? I, I've lost 50 pounds that I'm aware of. I started losing and was losing before I started counting. And so what God has done for me, and I, I do want to share this, that I've seen God cause people to lose 20 pounds, uh, 35 pounds. I'm talking about instantly. I'm talking about people will come to the service believing God to have supernatural weight loss, will weigh themselves before they come to church leave the church service without even being prayed for, and we'll discover, I've lost 20 pounds. We'll get reports back, I've lost 15 pounds. Weren't even prayed for, God just did it. Now, you know, you have revelation knowledge mm -hmm. of how to create an atmosphere for miracles, an atmosphere for healing. Uh, for instance, when people have worship, they get out of wheelchairs. Tell me about one. Well, there was a woman, um, in, a, in a service in Missouri, we were just simply giving God worship. Nobody prayed for her. I didn't pray for her. No one prayed for her. And all of a sudden, she heard a voice. She was confined to a wheelchair, couldn't walk. She heard a voice that said, get up. <laughs> she got up out of the wheelchair and walked. Now, I'm curious because I'm fascinated. I said to her, how did you get healed? What happened? She said, I heard a voice that said, get up and walk. And I obeyed. And worship brings that kind of presence of God where the Father releases angels to heal people, to show, I'm God, I'm here. But you teach that the atmosphere for worship is created through love. It's That's exactly white. right. Well, Jesus loved God the Father and Jesus loved people. And you and I are to be his disciples and his followers. And Jesus was the servant of all servants. 
And Jesus showed us what the Father's like. So when you and I love God and love each other, and by love serve each other, then heaven has come to earth. And so the Father says, that's what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to reveal myself. I'm going to show myself strong. I'm going to manifest myself. I'm going to do signs, wonders, and miracles. And releasing things like fear also create that atmosphere. Yes, yes. Because, see, the Apostle John said that when you know God's love, fear is turned out of doors. Because here's the thing about God's love. This was my heavenly experience. I was totally understood by God. I was totally loved by God. I was totally accepted by God. And so when the love of God is in us, I'm supposed to just love you as you are. And here's the thing about Jesus. Jesus comes to where you are to bring you to where he is. And the reason you're willing to go is because of that love and acceptance. It melts fear away. And when fear melts away, there are miracles. Melts rejection, too. Yes, yes. I believe that you can pray for people right now as God directs, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell you if you need to lose weight, be ready to receive instant weight loss right now. Would you pray, Tony? Yes. Father, I lift up the people who are watching right now. Father, the people that you love so much that you sent the Messiah, Jesus, to die for and you raised him back to life. Father, release the life of Jesus now. And I thank you, Father, for miracles. I thank you, Father, right now for that person who was losing your sight. You've been losing your sight. Your sight is being restored right now. There's a person, you're totally blind in one eye. That, your eyesight's coming back right now. There's a person you've been losing your hearing. It's returning. There's a person right now. You have been deaf in one ear. That hearing is being restored. There's a woman with a child. The child's totally deaf. That child's hearing is coming now. There's a woman right now. You have terrible case of arthritis. And it's in your spine. And you're being healed right now. There's another person, you have a terrible case of arthritis in your hands. There's even some deformity. You're being healed right now. You're feeling a warmth, a tingling. The pain is going. Uh, your fingers are going to straighten. Uh, uh, right now, there's a person, and, and you, have, you actually have metal uh, below your hip, down toward the kneecap and a little bit below the knee, uh, you're being healed right now. That, that metal is being changed to bone. There's another person. You have, you have metal in your, your ankle, your foot area. Uh, it's, being, it's being changed. Right now, you're receiving a miracle, a creative miracle in the name of Jesus, uh, the Messiah. Right now, there's somebody. Oh, my goodness. There's somebody right now. Uh, you're getting a heart transplant by Jesus. You're getting a brand new heart. You're being healed right now. There's somebody else with emphysema. You're being healed. Somebody with lung cancer is being healed right now. Um, uh, somebody else where you have a, 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 a it seems like it's, a, a, I don't know if a CPD or exactly what it is. It's some sort of incurable lung condition. Your lungs are clearing right now. Uh, there's somebody that you have cancer of the throat. You're being healed right now in the name of Jesus, God Almighty. Oh, somebody right now is losing weight. You're a man. You're an African-American man, and you're losing weight right now. Oh, my goodness. There are a number of people starting to have supernatural weight loss. I want you to wait about 20 or 30 minutes, and I want you to check yourself. You're going to find that you've lost one, two, three dress sizes, and then you're going to continue to lose the weight. I thank you, Father, Tony, for your mercy and grace right Tony, now. Tony, in 1989, you had a vision of the lake of fire. Tell me about that. If you can imagine seeing lava, um, fire, and brimstone for as far uh, out as you can see, as far to your left and right as you can see, low and smoky, and then what God did is he zeroed me in on a single person. And the fire wasn't just around, it was also coming up through. And uh, then I went on, but I, I, I saw enough 
that I didn't want to see anymore. And, and that's what happens to people uh, who, who neglect, who neglect coming to know Jesus as their Messiah and Lord. And you know, if, if you could just experience the love of God, you would never, ever want to be anywhere but His love. His love is so wonderful. His love is everything, and everything you have is nothing. It means, number one, you tell God you're sorry for everything you've ever done that's wrong, and you believe that He sent Jesus to die in your place, and by His blood, your sins were washed away as if you've never sinned before. And then you ask the King of love, Jesus, to live inside of you. Someone's throat was just healed in Jesus' name and someone's back, and you are whole in Jesus' name. Pastor Tony Kemp was frustrated when he didn't see miracles in his ministry like the ones he'd read about in the Bible. Then he was caught up into the third heaven and was given keys from God to unlock the supernatural. Today, Tony is seeing the crippled walk, blind see, the deaf hear, people healed from all types of diseases. Many receive missing body parts and experience supernatural weight loss. Now, Tony wants to give these keys from heaven to you. Call now and receive Tony Kemp's three-part audio CD teaching series, Healing as Taught from Heaven. Yours for a donation of $26. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1298. Through this easy to read, biblically based audio CD series, you'll learn the healing power of love, peace, and forgiveness. How to pray effective prayers that bring results. Pray for instant weight loss. Command arms and legs to grow. See creative miracles with people receiving new body parts from heaven. Close the doors to sickness and disease in your life, and so much more. People who have listened to this CD series have received their own healing and impartation to operate in the same anointing as Tony Kemp. Don't miss out on getting Tony Kemp's three-part audio CD teaching series, Healing as Taught from Heaven. Yours for a donation of $26. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 1298. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 1298 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, he should have been a vegetable or dead. In fact, my guest's heart stopped. Medical records say he had cardiac arrest for one hour and 45 minutes. He died and went to heaven. Today, he's called the Miracle Man, having been supernaturally healed of 29 conditions. For he himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in himself. His purpose was to create one new man. One new man. 